So YouTube's PZCS in here. Well, as you guys can see right here, I have a bike, finally. This is not the bike that I was wanting. Uh, the bike I wanted, and the bike I still want, is a Denali brand road bike. It's uh, very good for the money, as I've heard. But, uh, this one here is a used bike. It is a switchback mongoose, you can see right there. And, uh, it's quite nice. Um, it's very light. Let's see if I can lift it one-handed. Yes, I can lift it with one hand. Don't know if you guys could tell that though. Um, so it's it's very light compared to my other bike, which was very heavy, and uh, there would be no way I could lift it with one hand. But the only thing I really need to do, well, there's really only two things that I need to do. Um, one, I need to install a kickstand. There's no kickstand on here, so I need to put a kickstand on it. Uh, and I'd like to install a water bottle holder. I do have one. I just need to get it off of another bike that uh, has some very sad issues. But uh, then I'll be able to have a water bottle holder down there. But haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Um, you might also notice there are no suspensions at all on this bike. So if I do any bike PVs on it, uh, they're going to be very vibrating. Like they're going to be very many vibrations and a lot of uh, vibration noises um, and you'll certainly see that here <laughs> um, so anyway let me just uh, go ahead and mount you guys on this camera mount here and we'll take her first in you can see I have duct tape holding it on there too which is kind of funny but here we go okay you guys are now mounted Let's just over here. And gently set you guys down on here. <sighs> okay. Here, I can let go first. Especially on this route, because there's tons of blind spots. Be careful. People fly up this road, it's really scary. I don't usually like biking this road.
you hit a rock going too fast, it could like take you out pretty quickly. There's some people out here. Let's see what's good this way. So we don't lose it. Uh, there. I guess while I'm here, I'll take a drink of water. I always have water. Always a good idea. Back my backpack. I thought I dropped my iPod there, so that's why I stopped. But I can feel it getting looser. Transition. Front derail. Yeah. I do have several things I need to do this bike. Eventually. One of those, uh, like I said, is I need to install a water bottle cage. But I have one. I also have a kickstand. We install one of those. Let's turn around. Um, <clears throat> eventually, I need to replace the brakes. They're not quite as strong as I'd like them to be. Um, and then I need to adjust my front derailleur. Because it has issues. Like for instance, um, my front derailleur is uh, set to its highest gear. Uh, it'll transition to it, but if I turn right, the tension on the cable uh, 
actually makes a downshift. So, uh, it's a little bit strange, <laughs> yeah, but it's also a nuisance. <sighs> Especially if you're like on the road like I am. If you're like in traffic, there's a lot of cars around. Obviously you want to keep a good pace, so. But generally that's not the safest route. If it's available, use a bike route. Bike lane. This part's always fun. I might be lying. Wrong direction. Oh, she was being a bit so. Ugh. There's a bee in my face. I'm not a big fan of bees. I'm not gonna lie. I have an itch on my back and I don't know if that's the bee. I don't think it's just an itch. Anyway, I really should get out and bike more. Okay, today is August 21st. Fall officially starts September 22nd, so I have a month and a day before then, but obviously it's not going to be like an overnight thing where one day, you know, on September 21st, it's really warm, and then September 22nd, all the leaves are different color and it's cold. It tends to change to fall a little before then, so I've really got less than a month get some biking in. I got this bike at the end of the summer. I was biking it pretty consistently during the last few weeks of school or of summer. And uh, when school started up, well, I just don't have the time or as much time as I would like to to do this kind of stuff. Which is also another reason why I'm not making a lot of YouTube videos lately. Just haven't found the time. Pretty nice bike though. Even in used condition, it uh, works very well. <sighs> oh, we're on our highest gear setting now. That's encouraging. Either that or I'm out of shape. So I just have no problems going up this part. But this next part, I'm probably gonna have to walk up. Not the next part, but it's coming up. That big hill I took at the very beginning of the video. I have to go back up that. <laughs> so, I might need to walk it, but I'll pedal up it as far as I can. Then I'll throw this video together, hopefully upload it. I've shot several videos on this bike. So, uh, never really felt that they were, sh were worth uploading. This one should be though. As long as the camera's still recording, obviously. Which it should be. So we'll see. Alright. I'm gonna build up a little speed. Here comes the hill. Do 
Ini. How much is it? Let's see how far I can make it. I made it all the way up before, and I frankly wanted to kill myself. So, <laughs> it was not fun. I was out for the rest of the day. Like, like we even went out to eat for my little sister's birthday. That was cool. I did it. And <laughs> wow. This one came up. That was so cool. It's starting to rain now. A little bit of sprinkles here and there. There you guys go. Check this out. <laughs> Lanyard strap got stuck in the brake here. This brake here, pinched it. Got pinched out of there, so it's pretty dirty. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, there you go. Just thought I'd trade my new bike and uh let you guys ride it. While it thunders. Anyway. That's all. Thanks for watching. Adios.